evening. My name is Lawrence Denny, and I'm running for Secretary of State. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I grew up here in Idaho, graduated from the University of Idaho, um, and I served a tour of duty in, in the Republic of Vietnam, and uh, I was awarded a, a Bronze Star for my service there. I came back from Vietnam and, and uh, bought a family farm. My wife Donna and I were married, and we raised our four children on the farm. And you know, we're we're in this because our country is in trouble. Our state is in trouble, and our state is in trouble because we depend on that federal government <coughs> for 40 percent of our state budget. 40 percent. And the federal government is broke. You know, we cannot depend on the, on the federal government to, to continue uh, putting money into the state of Idaho. But there are some solutions to that. The Secretary of State's job has, has many facets. There's a lot of it that is administrative. But there are a couple of areas that I'd like to talk about just a little bit tonight. One of those areas is the land board. Over the last several years, the land board has taken to buying commercial property. And what's wrong with buying commercial property? Well, they're competing against private businesses. You know, and the state government, any level of government, has a distinct advantage. We don't pay any property tax. We don't pay any sales tax. We don't pay any income tax. How would you as business people like to give your competitor a 30% advantage to start off with? It's not fair and it's, a, and it's a process that has to be stopped. You know, there are other ways to maximize the return uh, on the endowments. You know, the land board also manages about 2.4 million acres of, of endowment lands. Most of that, or a lot of that, is in timber and grazing and mining. My background is in agriculture. I have that, the calluses on my hands, you know, as well as I've worked in the timber industry and I've also had a, been a partner in a small mining operation. So I have some practical background in natural resource issues. I've also served in the legislature for the last number of years. Uh, and all the time that I've been in the legislature, except for six years when I was Speaker of the House, I've been on the Natural Resource Committee. So, and I'm currently the chairman of that Natural Resource Committee. So I have the political background in natural resources as well. You know, we deal with all the various issues that come along with natural resources. There's another issue that I said we have a solution that's big enough to, to, for us to be able to afford not to depend on the federal government. And that issue is standing up to the federal government and demanding title to our public lands. You know, in the western states, we have locked up by the federal government over $150 trillion worth of natural resources. That's right, trillion dollars, $150 trillion. Here in Idaho, one of the main things is our timber industry. We are currently growing a billion and a half board feet of timber annually on the National Forest. We're harvesting 200 million board feet. That means 1.3 billion board feet is adding to the fuel load annually. Rather than spending hundreds of million do millions of dollars fighting forest fires, we could be creating thousands of jobs and billions of dollars added to our economy just by managing our national forests. One other issue that I want to talk about just a little bit is elections. And that's one of the major responsibilities of the Secretary of State as being the Chief Elections Officer. Now the Secretary of State 
doesn't run the elections. The county clerks run those elections, and they do a very good job of it. And they, and if they're doing a good job of it, they hope to never see the Secretary of State because the Secretary of State is the enforcer. I mean, that is the job of the Secretary of State to make sure that the elections are run fairly and smoothly. And if the Secretary is doing his job right, you won't even know he's around. You know, there have been some problems in the past, contrary to what some might tell you. And just to give you a little example of that, back in 2008, when our current president was first elected, there were a lot of same-day registrants. And when we got back to Boise, I decided, you know, somebody should check out some of these same-day registrants to make sure that they were actually qualified to vote. And so I requested from Aiden County a list of the same-day registrants. There were over 40,000 that registered on election day in Ada County. Over 40,000. I requested it to have that list so, so we had an intern that was that had needed something to do and we were going to have him check out some addresses. It was the end of March before I got that list. Five months after the election, the election had been certified. You know, the votes were counted on election day, the election was certified. Five months later, I'm able to get a CD with those same day registrants. <clears throat> Well, I popped it in my computer when I did get it. It was too late to have my intern go out and check out addresses because we were, we were nearly out of session. The first thing that pops up on my computer when I put that in was a, a, a file that said, Go Back List. And I'm thinking, what in the world is a Go Back List? Well, folks, that was the Go Back List was those who registered on Election Day and they failed to, to correctly fill out that registration card. They forgot to sign it. They forgot to check the appropriate boxes. They should not have been allowed to vote at all without a correct registration card. But what happened, the go back part, was those originals were sent back to those people and asking them to fill them out correctly. So if you wanted to defraud and vote, all you had to do was not sign your registration card and the county sent it back to you and you shredded it and there was no evidence at all that you had ever voted. Your vote has already been counted, the election is already certified. It's wrong. And there were a couple of other instances that we have been made aware of, one in Pocatello, another in Coeur d'Alene, where, where there were some irregularities. I think the way to keep honest people honest in elections is to aggressively investigate every charge. If there's a charge, we need to be out there and we need to aggressively investigate. And if there are findings, we need to aggressively prosecute. You know, and I think that keeps honest people honest. And as Secretary of State, I will not give up security of the election for convenience. Folks, again, I do have one other little thing. I've got a few minutes left, or a couple of minutes left. 30 seconds in. One minute. One minute. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about an event that we are having uh, over at the Idaho Center coming up at the end of this month. Uh, my wife and I were fortunate enough to get, a, to get a fairly popular group to come into the Idaho Center and do an do a event for us and, and then do a VIP fundraiser for us. We are welcoming the people from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Phil, Phil and Alan, Miss Kay and, and Lisa are coming to the Idaho Center. Uh, if you want to help us out, you could come and see these guys. They are, uh, Donna and I had the opportunity to go and visit with them in Louisiana. They are as redneck as what they are on the show. <laughs> you will enjoy yourself. So, again, my name is Lawrence Denny. I'm running for Secretary of State. Thank you for coming out.